survival? Like, do you guys consider Washington? Like, is it Washington? Uh, is it Oregon State? I mean, I think I think that kind of like changes up a lot. I mean, obviously Oregon State. I think Washington has a connection because you know it's the border right there. But I mean, that's gonna change up with you know who who's competing the hardest. And, and, you know, that's how it goes, I think. But. It's probably been more like you guys in Arizona the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah, I would say. But, you know, Washington, they're a really good team this year, so it's going to be a battle, though. Have you seen that 2-3 zone that they brought in? What's been effective there? I think they're leading the conference in defense. Uh, well, you know, they get a lot of steals out of it. Uh, you know, they have great defenders, Matisse and them. Uh, but it's just working really well for them. Uh, they kind of found their niche. So we're just going to have to find the gaps. You know, we're going to have to hit shots. and. Offensive rebound. Maybe they look kind of run guys off the three point line, it looks like, or at least not give up many open looks from out there. Yeah, I mean, we'll definitely have to move. You know, Stanford was terrible. We didn't move, we, we took terrible shots, so that's not the recipe for success, so we're going to have to change that. Have you ever been on the wrong end of a blowout like Saturday in your life? No, I actually have. I've never got blown out. I don't think like that. I had to be really young. I mean, definitely not in high school, and definitely not last year. I mean, Baylor was our worst loss last year. I think we lost by like 16, so that was that was embarrassing. But is that one where you just throw away the tape and don't watch it, or do you guys you know go break it down and figure out what went wrong? And um, you know you can you can learn from every game, but from that type of game, I don't know what you can really learn. I mean, obviously they were hot. Uh, they were 10 for 13 from three at one point, but you know, that was just sad on our part that we had no effort. Just team effort was terrible. Your first blowout of your career, what do you think needs to be in that recipe for success? Um, a lot of things. Um, start, you know, attention to detail. Just the little things um, that Coach was talking about. Um, competing and then taking way better shots. I mean, we, we, some of the shots we're taking are just, you know, last year, you know, we could get away with it, but we also had offensive rebounders and and guys were going and we were going to make plays on defense. But, you know, with this, this year we got to take good shots because we're not as talented and we're not as good as last year's team. So we have to make sure everything we're doing is perfect to be as, at another level. As a veteran of last year, how do you help teams gain confidence after a loss like that? Uh, I think it just starts in practice. You know, we have to keep battling. We can never get down on ourselves. Um, you know, March is coming up. So, you know, anything can happen in March. And it's kind of, you know, we have to have that mindset now is we need to win, win, win. Shot selection is something coach has preached all season. Why do you think it's the message maybe isn't getting across? Uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, you know, just guys thinking that the shots are good. Uh, you know, I don't know, I'm not in other people's heads or anything like that, but, you know, just a team, as a team, we just have to take better shots. Um, start with me all the way down. The margin of error gets thinner. Is it comforting knowing that you still have a lot of opportunities to get some solid wins for your resume? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, Washington will be a big one. Washington State, so we need these two wins, and then, uh, then you know, going on the road to LA. But right now, we just we need to take care of Washington. You know, they're on a roll right now. They just beat the Arizona schools, so this will be a big um, win for us if we get it. Sometimes, a loss like that on Saturday can fracture the locker room. What's the response been like? Um, you know, I think we're still, you know, a team and we're still trying to get better. We're still young, so, you know, we're still getting over that. But, you know, we just got to come compete every day, get better in practice and then, you know, show out in the games and give it all we got. You've been saying you're a young team all season. Do you think that has a weakness to how you're playing? Um, you know, I think the only weakness that has is you guys are inexperienced as far as being on the road and what certain things take. Uh, but, you know, we, we got to stop using the excuse, too, that, you know, we, we should be matured now and uh, experienced to, to be able to handle any situation. Victor's played a lot better the last three or four weeks. What have you seen from him, and his improvement, and where he's made an impact? Um, you know, definitely, I think it's just scoring. You know, he's hitting shots. He's opening up the defense. So that's been good to see. You guys do anything to and you know, obviously we don't see behind the scenes stuff, but do you guys do anything to like stay loose like after a game like that? I mean, just, uh, or, or is that something that just should wear on you guys for like four days, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, I think everybody kind of has, you know, different different things right. as far as, uh, as far as, as I go, you know, I'd probably get in the gym, shoot, but you know, I'm not trying to really think about that too much. Uh, just put it in the past and move on. I mean, 
There's no point in dwelling over it. You learn, move on. Has, has this year at all been taxing? Because I don't think anyone has ever accusing you guys of not putting in the work, but it, it just seems like it's, it's taken some time to come along. Like, how, how have you kind of dealt with that personally? Because, you know, last year was a veteran team. Things clicked so quickly. Yeah. Like, like, how's that been for you? Um, you know, definitely gets, it's like a long process. Um, but last year's team, they already been through it. So we have to go through this. Right. And, you know, we're still, still learning. But, you know, I think we're close. And you know, we'll see this weekend. But it's going to be a big weekend. But we need to just, you know, keep getting better and keep grinding and need to get this wins. Washington feels like the surprise team of the season. What's making them have a successful year? Uh, well, I think it starts with their coach. You know, they're kind of he's kind of changing the culture. You know, that 2-3 is doing really well for them. And, uh, they're playing well as a team, so 